Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Triple Play Negative AE, and welcome back to Steins Gate. Uh, last we left off, we are on um, the Kakos campaign, and um, let's just see what happens. As I enter the courtyard, I can almost feel the heat slowly drain away. Beside the main building stands a large tree. Its branches, coated with vibrant leaves, sway in the gentle breeze. The shrine is cooler than the streets of Akiba proper. Maybe it's because Kanda River is so close. As usual, the shrine is empty. I find myself standing before the offering box, gazing into the inner sanctum. I wonder if Lukaku's home. Her family should be here too. How should I call for her? Just then, the wind suddenly lets up and the sound of rustling trees stops for a bit. In the silence, I hear someone sobbing. It sounds like it's coming from behind the main building. I slowly head towards that sound. Aww. Lukaku is there, sitting on the grass, hugging her knees as she cries. Samidari is in her hands. Lukaku. Lukako looks at me with wet eyes, but immediately afterwards, she buries her face into her knees. Then her shoulders start shaking once more. Mm. Yesterday I went to Mayori Chan's funeral. Everyone cried. I didn't know Mayori Chan was loved by so many people. Of course, I love Mayori Chan too. Not really good with people, but she was always so nice to me. She was my best friend. I lost the words I was about to say. All I can do is sit silently next to Lukaku. Why, Okabe-san? Why are we still alive? Mary Chen, is, they make you re feel like a total dick. Like, like, I don't know. Out of all the options uh, that I've had so far, this is the one that's like. But I'm still a girl. This is the one that sucks the most because. I don't know. They just make you feel like a complete dick. Now that she remembers being a guy, the Kaku is beginning to have gender gender identity issues. I have no idea how that feels. Just as Kodasu said, Lukaku is disconnected from causality too. It just feels wrong for me to keep living like this. It's not wrong. I tried to cheer her up with those meaningless words, but Lukaku shakes her head in denial. Is there a way to save Maori-chan? Hmm. No, so now we're a liar. That can't be. Still crying, Lukaku stands and pleads with me. Let's keep thinking. I'll do anything to save Mayuri-chan. I heard from Mayuri-chan before that you made a device for traveling back in time. Is she talking about the time loop machine? If we use that, we can't. If we go back in time, I'm sure, sh I'm sure she'll find a way. Or we'll find a way. Um, there is no way. I make a firmed up declaration with a hung head and clenched fists. It may be cool, but all we can do is accept Mayori's death and keep on living. You can't give up. Why are you giving up? Aren't you sad at all that Mayori chan died? There's no way to save her. No. I don't want Mayori chan to die. Lukaku! 
I grab her shoulders and look straight into her eyes. Did you think it was easy for me to give up? She was my precious childhood friend. I would have done anything to save her. I tried to find a way. I tried everything that I could think of. Do you know how many times I've gone back? But nothing worked. The universe wants her dead. No matter how I try to avoid it, fate snatches Mayori away. I sacrificed other people's memories and dreams. All to save Mayori. I didn't care who I heard as long as I could save her. But I can't do it anymore. There's nothing I can do. No, there is something I can do. There are still things I can do to save Maori. But I chose none of them. Theoretically, it's not impossible. Like, what the fuck? Everybody else, you just live happily ever after. But it's impossible for me. I guess this is the first ending where Maori is set to die. But at the same time, it's like... I didn't stop to think about your feelings. But it's not impossible, is it? There's still one more way left. If you turn me back into a guy, I can't do that. There's no meaning to our choice if we do that. I chose the Kako over Maori. Ultimately, that's all there is to it. Just continues. Please, Okabe-san. I don't want to be a girl so badly that I'd sacrifice Mayori-chan. Please, save Mayori-chan. I won't turn you back into a guy. Man, even the person that you wanted to make happy is telling you to... Oh, this ending. Why won't you? That's what I chose. I can't keep on hurting people to feed my ego. Besides, even if we go back to the original world line, there's no guarantee that we'll avoid Maori's death. I won't sacrifice anyone's memories. I won't sacrifice your memories for a small chance like that. It's over. But, Okabe-san, this is unforgivable. I don't deserve to live like this. How can I go on knowing that me being a girl contributed to Maori's death? That's too heavy a burden for me to bear. Why? Why didn't you send the mail to my mom's page or 18 years ago? Why didn't you choose Maori-chan over me? You have nothing to be ashamed of. It was my choice. I killed Maori. The guilt is mine. I am the one with the power of a god. I am the one who chose Maori's fate. Therefore, I am the one who must bear the responsibility. Besides, I want you to be happy. Happy? How can I possibly be happy? When Mayori died because of me. It wasn't because of you, please never say that again. You may be sad now, but... I want you to keep going forward and live enough for Mayori too. No. I don't want that. Lukako clings to my chest. She stares into my eyes without wiping away her tears. In that case, I want to help you bear your burden. Together. 
一緒に背負う。Bear together. Don't be ridiculous. I'm a man disconnected from causality. I choose to stand by and I chose to stand by and let Maori die. Just reinforce. Then I'll disconnect myself from causality too. I regained my memories of being a guy, so doesn't that mean I'm already disconnected? I also know that I'm only a girl because Maori paid for it with her life. We're accomplices. Kurusu said the same thing. We're accomplices, Lukaku and I. This sadness, this guilt. I want us both to embrace them so we don't forget. We are disconnected from causality. Nobody else can understand us. That's why. I understand. I embrace Sukako strongly. Let's bear our burden together. Let's live with these memories together. Can I stay by your side forever? I love you. I know I'm betraying I'm betraying Maori Chen, but I want to be with you forever. Of course. We both bear the same burden. We'll accept Maori's death, yet still live on, shoulder to shoulder. That's a weird thing to start a relationship on. Just like a, a death. I don't know. Afterwards, we pass the, the, the time, sitting in silence until the sky turns the color of dusk. Lukaku rests her head on my shoulder. I embrace her, feeling her breathing next to me. We gaze silently at the sky. And in our hearts, we pray for Maori's happiness in the afterlife. I'm sorry, Maori. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Okabe-san. Lukaku raises her head and breaks the silence. I can see the firm resolve in her expression. There's one thing that I should have done for Mayuri-chan, but didn't. And because I didn't, I made her sad. What was it? <laughs> Cosplay. Oh, that. These last few weeks, Mayori has was constantly asking Lukaku to wear the costume she made for her. But Lukaku was too embarrassed to try. I remember Mayori on the day she died. I think Luka chan would be absolutely perfect for Kiari chan cosplay. Or being absolutely good. Luka Chan's so cute, she makes Mayushi's heart throb, you know? Luka Chan's usually a very obedient girl, you know? She rarely speaks her mind. Uh, when you cosplay, you become another you. That's why I think if Luka Chan cosplays once, she'll definitely find a new Luka Chan, even if it's embarrassing at first. And when that happens, she'll become more assertive than before. Uh, even, maybe she'll even dominate you, Okanin. Wait, even on that day, Maori only talked about Lukaku. Even though I stood her up on my promise to bring Lukaku to Komima and made her lonely. Maori wanted Lukaku to cosplay from the bottom of her heart. Can your time machine take me back to that day? You mean you want to go back? Lukaku nods firmly. Are you serious? Nobody's used the time loop machine except me. Yeah, what happens? It's never failed so far, but if something does happen, it might not be reversible. Cern's test subjects turned into jelly men. 
something like that could happen to her, or she could lose her memory, like Susan had did. It's too dangerous. So far, I'm the only one who's used it. Please. At the very least, I want to see Mayori Chen off with a smile. Because I wasn't able to do anything for her. But I thought you couldn't handle all the otaku. I am a bit scared, but this is something I have to do. Besides, I want to truly be the same as you, Okabe-san. If I use that device, I'll be completely disconnected from causality, won't I? And then I could feel what you feel. So please, her innocent feelings warm my heart. Lukaku truly cares for me and Mayori. In the end, I have to grant her wish. When we get back to the lab, no one is there. What happens? I mean, I, I'm like 100% interested. A few days ago, Mayori, Kudusu, Daru, and I were laughing here together. With Mayori gone, nothing seems to remain from those days but dreams. The lab feels truly empty. But I hide those feelings and lead Lukaku into the development room. Luckily, the 42-inch CRT is turned on downstairs, so we can start the time loop when ready. What time will you jump to? The morning of that day. If I jump to the day before, I don't think I'll be men mentally stable enough to accept it as reality. That's why. So she's choosing the morning of that fateful day so she can cosplay with a smile. But to jump to that day would take at least three consecutive leaps. Will she be able to get all the way to the 15th? Despite my worries, Lukaku may remains undaunted. Once you've leaped safely, get in touch with me. I'm sure I'll help you get to Mayori. Okay. Interesting. I cover Lukaku's head with the Time Leap Machine's headgear. Her body is clearly shaking. But that's understandable, I guess. Even I'm starting to get tense. My heart feels like it's about to explode. This is the first t time. This is the first time loop machine experiment with a subject other than me. I can't stop thinking about the worst case scenario. Don't worry. Your brain will hurt a bit, but the pain will go away soon. You must not get distracted when you reach up the other side. Calm down and try to grasp your surroundings. It'll be okay. I'm with you. I gently caress Lukaku's cheek. She responds with a small sigh of relief. I'm going. I nod and hide the shaking of my fingertips as I set the microwave timer. I'll be sure to come back. Yeah. I'll be waiting. I smile to Lukaku. Immediately afterwards, the discharge fills the room. Reading Steiner? I open my eyes in wonder as Lukaku's body begins to shine. Shine? The building shakes violently. The smell of ozone fills the air. The light is blinding. I can hardly keep my eyes open. Okabeza. Lukaku's cry is suddenly cut short. Oh, we switched. We switched places. Shock ripples through my body like it always does right after time leaping. What the? This time, I wasn't the one who leaped. Nevertheless, I tri teleported from the lab to Yanabayashi Shrine. Did the world line change? No, reading Steiner didn't activate, so I don't think it did. Then, why? 
Was it because of Lukaku's changes to the past? I look to the side, and there I see Lukaku. She gets up and smiles when she notices my gaze. Want to see the pictures? Pictures? What's this about pictures? It worked. I did it. Don't you remember? You suddenly started acting different just now. Right, right after you leaped into the past, I found myself standing here. Did you go to Komima? Lukako once again burst into tears. Then she slowly nods. She takes out a few pictures and hands them to me. Mayuri chan was so happy. I look at the first picture she handed to me. I gasp in surprise to see when I see what's on it. Looks like we really got carried away. I realize that I am crying. Aww. 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 That's a cute picture. That's a cute, like, uh, drawing. It's a cute picture. Is that it? Aww. Oh, dude, it's gonna end on this? The credit's gonna come up on this? That'll be super cute. Aww. Oh, it's gonna fade. Okay, good. Aww. This is the first unique ending. The rest of them were just stars. This one is like different. Um, so, so did I just act differently up until that point? Like I don't understand. Wouldn't re wouldn't reading Steiner take me back to when she changed the past? No. No, no, no. That doesn't make any sense. So I would just act differently up until that exact point in time and then I would take over. My ability is crazy weird. So who's next? Are we, are we talking Mayo, uh, Moeka next? Moeka's next, right? Because you gotta save the best two characters for last. That's uh, Kudasu and Mayori. Well, unless, unless, they, unless I'm just overestimating the amount of paths that you can take. Because I'm, I'm thinking that this is like a thing where you go with, e like, each girl has their own story. So we've been with, um, Ferris, Suzuha, Lukako, and the next seems to be Moeka. Because, like, something was going wrong with her, like, she was going crazy at one point in the story. So I think it'd be interesting to go ahead and tell her story. Th then again, like, that ending was the worst ending, in my opinion. Because you just you just got blamed for absolutely everything, and like the whole basis for your relationship was that someone that Mayori died, so it was almost like it was almost the most depressing ending because you just had to deal with the consequences that you had set out for yourself, which is it's cool it's cool that that's a thing, but it also makes me like it, like it's unfair to Lukaku because everybody else had a nice happy well it wasn't happy necessarily. <gasps> That is cute, though. Okay, I take it back. That is very cute. I don't know if it's the worst ending anymore. That is the cutest thing that I've ever seen. Link of Corruption and Rebirth. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to because you're having the best rest of your day. I'll be right back with um, the next storyline, I guess. It'll be interesting to see where they take it from here. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.